The rental car industry is setting themselves up for a tough summer, full of increased demand, limited supply, with no real end in sight. And to be honest, this is like music to my ears, because a rental car industry that is bracing themselves for a tough summer means that car sharing, specifically Turo, is about to explode. Metaphorically speaking, of course. There is a lot of data to suggest that the rental car industry will have extreme supply chain issues this summer, which means that Turo and car sharing will see increased demand just like we did in 2021, but I think it could be even better. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what this means, exactly how you can prepare for this, that way we can all make a ton of money this summer. So. Let's get started. Now, you guys remember last year, there was a kind of rental car apocalypse that happened throughout the entire country. Well, new tonight, if you're dreaming of hitting the open road this summer in some rented wheels, you might be out of luck. Travel experts say to expect a car rental shortage this summer as people return to taking vacations. Basically, after being locked up throughout all of 2020, people had a pent up demand for travel in 2021. And as a result, travel increased a bit more than expected. This, of course, made it so that there was a lot of demand in the rental car industry. But because of COVID-19, because of the insane car market that we saw last year, there was not enough supply to meet the demand that the travel industry was seeing. Because of this, rental car lines were incredibly long, like multiple hours long. People were accounting of times where they had reservations weeks, if not months in advance, only to find out that whenever they got to the rental car counter, their car was not available, thus basically leaving them stranded. These types of stories and these types of horrible disaster accounts were things that were incredibly common last summer and going into the end of 2021. This meant that there was huge demand for peer-to-peer -peer car sharing platforms like Turo, and many Turo hosts around the entire country saw an absolute boom in business. In fact, last year was one of the best summers I ever had with my Turo fleet. I had a ton of demand and a ton of questions from you guys about Turo on my YouTube channel and my car sharing masterclass, which is my e-course teaching you guys how to run a Turo fleet. It absolutely exploded in the summer of last year because people were curious how to get started in this business. But the good news is, is that 2021 is not a thing of the past, and it looks as though we're gonna be seeing a repeat of this, if not potentially worse, in 2022. Now, let me explain exactly why. Now, before we can understand why there will be increased demand in the peer-to-peer -peer car sharing space and with Turo this summer, we have to first understand why the rental car industry is bracing for a tough season. And really, it comes down to two things, supply and demand. Now, whenever it comes to supply, this really comes down to the people that are renting cars on traditional platforms and traditional agencies like Avis, Budget, Enterprise, so on and so forth. These are the traditional rental car companies that most people turn to whenever they're going on vacation, whenever they're traveling for work, things like that. And really, as we sit here today in spring and summer of 2022, demand is the highest that it's been since pre-COVID. People are returning to the office, people are returning to travel for work, Mass mandates have lifted virtually everywhere and the travel restrictions are following quickly. This means that people will have the ability to travel both nationally as well as internationally like they haven't been able to since 2019. This is gonna be absolutely massive for the rental car agency and it's something that will increase demand substantially. And though we have made massive strides in just our day-to-day -day life as well as the travel industry in regards to COVID shutdowns and mass mandates, the one area that hasn't improved quite substantially, in fact, not substantially at all, the reality is car manufacturers are not able to produce cars at the same rate that they were a couple of years ago. This is of course causing used car prices to go up in some cases 40 to 50%. It's causing new car demand to be at levels never seen before, and it's making it very difficult for the rental car industry to get new inventory. Worldwide shortages, specifically the chip shortage, which is heavily impacted by COVID, 19 and could potentially be impacted even further by the war in Ukraine. This is really bottlenecking auto manufacturing. And until we return to normal manufacturing levels with these semiconductor chips, I'm afraid that the auto manufacturing industry just will not be the same that it once was until that happens at least. In fact, in a statement by Greg Scott, a spokesperson with the American Rental Car Association, he stated, it's still tough out there. The supply chain problems have not resolved themselves. There are some instances where the supply supply of new cars has improved, but it's not back where it needs to be and it won't be for a long time. 
This statement was published in an article written by the Washington Post, and I wanna read an excerpt from this article because I personally think that this is incredibly fascinating. For travelers, that means a car might not be available exactly when or where they need it, or it might be significantly more expensive than it would have been in 2019. Prices have increased so much that two members of Congress, reps Katie Porter and Raha Krishna Morthy, and I apologize that I, I almost certainly butchered that last name, wrote letters to the chief executives of Avis and Hertz this month demanding information about price hikes and possibly predatory business practices. Now, I'm not gonna go over the letter that these Congresswomen wrote to Hertz and Avis. If you guys are interested in seeing that and you want me to address it in a future video, please let me know down in the comment section below and I can definitely talk about it in a video. But I did wanna briefly talk about it here because I do think it's interesting that this is predicted to be such a large issue that Congress is addressing it at least in a minor way. But ultimately what this article, as well as all of the studies that have been released about the rental car agency, what they are getting to and what the concern is, is the fact that increased demand from travel returning to normal, from the country opening back up, paired with the fact that there just is not enough supply will mean that number one, people will not be able to find their rental cars, and number two, rental cars will be incredibly expensive. But that is of course where Turo comes in, and that's where I think Turo will absolutely explode this summer. Whenever people will inevitably have a tough time going through traditional car rental agencies, they will turn to non-traditional platforms like Turo. They did it in 2021, and I think that they will do it again in 2022. This is going to be great because whenever this type of thing happens, and whenever it happened last year, not only does it create you a one-time customer through that first-time renter that uses your platform, your car, because they didn't have an option through a traditional rental car agency, but it also creates a group of repeat customers as well. I have so many guests that I worked with last year for the very first time who used me because of the fact they didn't have access to a car and then they started using my cars more often. They became repeat renters either from me or just on the Turo platform in general because of the fact that they used it once, they found out it was cheaper, it was just more convenient, it was really streamlined and they continued to use the platform from then on out. So my only hope is, is that all of the hosts throughout the entire country pull their weight to do a good job with these new guests. That way we we continue to get more guests, we can continue to see increased demand, and all of the Turo hosts across the entire country can make money. Now, ultimately, whenever it comes to the increase in demand that we will see with Turo this year, it comes down to the fact that we will get trickle-down customers that want to use traditional car rental agencies but simply aren't able to. But now begs the question of how can you prepare as a Turo host? Now, one answer to this question is to make sure that all of your cars are ready for the summer season. This is something that HP and I are doing currently, especially with our RV fleet. We have an RV on top of our car sharing fleet and we are making sure that all of our cars are well maintained or fixed or getting anything that they need done to them. That way they can be 100% utilized this summer. Another thing is we are adjusting and keeping an incredibly close eye on pricing. We wanna make sure that our prices are competitive but they also aren't leaving money on the table either. Now this is a difficult balance that you do have to find as a Turo host and this is going to be different from market to market. Pricing in California is gonna be different than pricing here in Texas, than pricing in New York, and so on and so forth. So you'll wanna make sure that you are keeping a close eye on pricing and you're adjusting accordingly. Whenever we see a absurd increase in demand like we saw last year, I encourage you to be hyper-focused on pricing. I tend to keep my pricing relatively the same year over year. I don't change my pricing a ton throughout the year except for major holidays. But whenever we do see this increase in demand, like I think we're gonna see here soon, I do pay a much more intense focus on it and I'll change my pricing on a day-by-day -day basis to make sure that I'm utilizing my fleet as much as possible. And lastly, make sure that you're streamlining your process. That way you can expand your fleet, but you don't necessarily have to expand your workload this summer either. If you are somebody who is making a lot of money this summer by renting out your fleet, but you're absolutely killing yourself doing it, then it sort of defeats the purpose of a semi-passive income stream. With Turo, it is absolutely possible to have a fully utilized Turo fleet without having to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week in order to accomplish that. In fact, HP and I have a 14 car fleet with one RV and another RV in progress, and I would say that HP and I probably spend about 30 hours combined working on our fleet, and that includes the time that we spend actually building out our RV conversion. So this is something that is totally possible, and it's really done by streamlining your processes as much as possible. That's doing things 
like remote key exchanges, making sure that your lot or pickup location is close to where you spend most of your time, and also making sure that you're automating as much as possible through platforms like CarSync. Now, with that being said, you guys, I wanted to make this video because the rental car market is going to explode. I really do believe it. Because of the demand, because of the decrease in supply, it's going to create this perfect storm. And as we sit here today in April of 2022, you have roughly a month and a half to prepare so that you can have a killer summer. If you guys have any questions or if you have any video topics that you want me to cover on this channel that will get you ready for the summer of 2022, make sure to leave a comment down below and I can definitely make some more videos going into depth of some of the things that I'm doing, some of the things I recommend you do, and some of the things to keep in mind. But like always, you guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.